Hello, it's uh, almost time to go to sleep here on ISS, so I thought I would show you where we actually sleep. Four of us sleep here in Node 2, and uh, two more crew members have their sleeping stations in, uh, in the Russian segment. We have uh, two crew quarters on the walls, so to speak. One is up there on the ceiling, and my own is down here on the floor. But of course, it doesn't really matter. There is no up and down in space. It's just a convention. We talk about overhead, deck, port, and starboard crew quarters. As I said, it's past midnight. I'm already in my pajamas, and it's time to turn off the light and go to sleep. Come on, I'll give you a tour. As you can see, there isn't a whole lot of space in here. Um, it's really just a space for, for our sleeping bag and for us to sleep, uh, and then for a few personal items and stuff of, uh, of regular use. Um, most importantly, we have two laptops in here. Um, this is one of uh, many laptops that we have throughout the station called SSCs. Uh, each one of us has a personal SSC in their uh, crew quarters. We can use it to read our emails, um, but also, for example, to pull up stuff like our um, electronic uh, agenda, the electronic schedule, where we can see, um, for example, I can take a look and see what activities I will be doing tomorrow. And if I want, I can um, look in detail, pull up all the information about each activity. Uh, but there's also on these computers um, applications that are more for our personal life up here. Like, for example, there is an application that allows us to use the a voice over IP system to uh, talk on the phone, so to speak, with um, anybody on the planet. So we can uh, call our friends and family that way, and we usually do that here in our crew quarters. And we also have a, a second laptop, which is called a CSL laptop. And uh, this one is uh, disconnected from the onboard uh, network. And with this one, we can uh, log in into a machine on the ground and uh, this way have access to the internet. It's uh, not super fast and of course it's subject to interruptions depending on the satellite coverage, but it's kind of a neat thing to have, to be able to have access on, to the internet from the space station. And then I have a few, you know, personal common use items in here. I have my, my clothes, um, the sport clothes and the, and the regular clothes that I have been, that I've been wearing this, uh, this week. Um, my personal camera, my iPad, some snacks, uh, water, a flashlight can come in handy. Um, we also all have a speaker in the crew quarters that only transmits uh, an alarm in case of an emergency in the space station. And of course we have our sleeping bag. I usually roll it up during the day so that it's not in my way and then when it's time to sleep I open it up and then I can slide in. Some people leave it open but I'm, uh, I'm always a little bit cold so I like to zip it up <coughs> all the way. Some people like to um, tie themselves, but uh, I actually don't. I really like to just float when I'm sleeping, so that's really it. I would uh, turn the light off and uh, good night. <laughs> <laughs>